<laughs> the arc. Okay, <laughs> let's say this is angle AOB. Okay. AOB would be equal to AB. Angle O is 70 degrees. Arc AB is 70 degrees. Okay. I don't, I don't get the whole degree of this. That's the question. It's not length. We're not doing length right now. We're doing size this way. Play with me. Come on now. All right. Now that we've said that there is an arc, which is a piece of a circle, we're going to classify them. There are three types. The first one is a minor arc. A minor arc has a measure between 0 and 180 degrees. A minor arc is named with two points. Here you see that the red central angle is creating an arc through point A and B, so we call that arc AB with the little rainbow symbol on top. Rainbow. The italic <laughs> M does not mean minor, it stands for the measure of arc AB. And it is 82 degrees, just like the central angle that's forming it. Oh, you're just jumping ahead, aren't you? You smart Nick face person. <laughs> <laughs> Nick face person. Are we going to have to uh, classify them as minor and stuff in the rest? How do you sign? We're going to have to just, they're going to say name a minor arc and you'll have to tell them. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you just measure that with like a thing? Protractor. Protractor, so it's not like... You can't take what? Like what's, I don't well, know you can't I measure it with a ruler because you can't make the ruler curve. Okay, <laughs> so right now we're using degrees. Eventually we'll get into finding out how, what's the length. And that's when you have to use radius and circumference and all that other stuff. All right, but for now we're just doing degree measures. A major arc has a measure between 180 and 360. It's not equal to 180, that's something else. It's not equal to 360 because that's a circle. And remember, an arc is only a piece of a circle. Now, because a major arc is major, we use three points to name it where the, the first point and the last point show where you start and where you stop. And the point in the middle shows the path that you take to get there. Okay, so in this case, if I say major arc RST, it means that I am starting at point R, passing through point S, and coming around and stopping at point T. So this is major arc, R S T. Into that whole if thing. I simply said arc R T, I would be talking about the minor arc here. Okay. Now, how can we find the measure of the major arc R S T? Subtract it from three hundred and sixty. Yes, ma'am. That's why I said, remember, a, th a circle is three hundred and sixty degrees. Oh, it's gonna work. Yeah. <laughs> Is he figured it out? Is he smart? It's 250. It's okay. Never mind, it's out. Minor calculation problems. <laughs> Gotta borrow. Okay? So the major arc, RST, has a measure of 258 degrees. What angle forms that major arc? Oh, wait, I have to put a point. I mean, a name. What angle forms arc, RST? Wait, what? Which angle forms point, I mean, excuse me, arc, R, S, T? R, O, T. But you can't have one. I always thought it would be like more than 180. Well, angle R, O, T. It is more than 180. It is more than 180. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know angle. All right. 
Semicircles are what you call an arc that is equal to 180 degrees. So you have a minor arc that goes up to 180. At 180, you have a semicircle. From 180 until you finish off the whole circle, you have a major arc. Just like the major arcs, the semicircle is named with three points. Where the first and the last are the end points of the arc, and the middle letter designates the direction to get there. Because there is no point labeled between X and Z on the bottom part of the circle, I could not name that ma that semicircle. Why name? Because I need three points. Why? No, at the bottom of the circle. Why couldn't it be at the top? It is at the top. Who's on first? <laughs> what I'm saying is to name a semicircle here, I need three points. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I can't say X, Z oh, is a semicircle. Okay. But I can can't say X, Y, Z is a semicircle formed by the endpoints of this diameter. Which angle creates a semicircle? X, Z. Angle X, O, Z is the angle. It's a straight <laughs> angle, right? Does it have to Yes. Yes, yes. See, one, two, three. Okay, <clears throat> please draw this picture on your paper. You have, what would we call this circle? How do you name the circle? The center. The center. So this would be circle O. Oh. What would we call segment AD? Wait, let me draw it. <laughs> pause. Pause. A diameter. Wait, what? Hey, this thing here, Miss Adams. What'd she say? She said, be sweet. Oh, she said be nice, not sweet. She said, be nice. Why did this class not hear? But you can hear at home. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for tuning in today. We'll be here all week. <laughs> <laughs> at this point, we'd probably stop watching. Okay, we oh, were recording. Sometimes you just forget. Yeah. Because, I mean... <laughs> okay, we got it down. <laughs> okay, AD, the segment AD is a diameter. That's not a question. I know it's not. I'm reviewing yesterday. We could also call AD a what? Semicircle. No, a chord. Chord. A chord. We're all in a chord. Okay. All right. We are going to name arcs and angles. So if you're naming an angle, you need the little angle thing. And if you're naming an arc, you need the little rainbow. Okay. And if you're naming a minor arc, you only need two points. Major or semicircle, you need three. Okay. Now there are more than two central angles in this picture, but we're going to name two. There's actually more than that in there. Three. All right. Name one central angle. D O C. <gasps> Name another central angle. Angle C O B. All right, now I want you to just look, because we've named two. I want you to look and see all the central angles we have. Because the definition of a central angle is not limited by its measure, it's just that the vertex is on the center. D O B. Angle D O A. Is the central angle. Angle D O B. Angle D O B. Oh, and then angle D O B. <laughs> like this way. No, like D O B. I mean, like from 1580 is. Right? One. We just said that. Angle C O A. What about C O D? Like this way. Yeah. And so there's lots of central angles. All right, name a semicircle. D A B. A, B, no. B, A, B, D. Okay, now, if there's more than one point between the start and the stop, you only need to choose one. What's another thing we could name that semicircle? A, C, D. A, C, D. Very good. Okay. 